Welcome back to Republic. At the end of episode 2, Hope thought she was going to escape in the elevator, but ended up getting nabbed. And that's where we ended off. So let's begin episode 3 and see what happens. We have to get out of here. Cooper here. That was quite a hair breath escape. I think it's fair to say the girl is on Derringer's radar now. To reach the surface, she'll need to use the service elevator. To use the service elevator, she'll need a key card. I suggest she borrow one from one of the clueless desk jockeys downstairs. Setting a destination marker for the media offices. Good luck. I thought she got nabbed by Derringer at the end of the last episode. I mean, she has a black eye, and I thought he literally got his hands around her. So does that mean that she somehow managed to kick free and run away from him? I guess. I was expecting this episode to start with her locked up again. Hmm. Well, anyway, it's actually been a couple weeks since I um, last played this game, so I kind of have to relearn it. Although the mechanics are pretty simple, so it shouldn't be too bad. What level doors can I go through? I think level 2, maybe 3. Obviously not 5. And since I can't go through number 5, that means I have to go that way. Although I am curious, what is down here? That's where I just came from, but it could be something hidden. Let's see. Have you hidden secrets? Secrets? If I zoom into the corruption, do I see secrets in the darkness of... Okay, no. No secrets. Got some dudes wearing armor. Obviously, everybody's going to be on extremely high alert, since Derringer knows I escaped. And is not going to be too happy about that. Seems like Prido <laughs> didn't actually know how to answer the question about where she was from. Is she faking it? Is she not actually from there? Is that a lie or something? Why was it so hard for her to answer? That was strange. I think there's something going on with Mirai. You know, most of the time I can't actually read what's on the paper because the text is too small, but I actually can read it this time. Although, I guess there's no point, since the voice part that just played, the voice acting, probably pretty much tells you the same thing. Roughly.
Array used a blue key card to board that service elevator. If I'm to get to the service today, I'll need to find a key card like hers. Great station. And since it is a new episode, there might be something new to actually buy. Because I know I bought everything in the last episode. The Ark suits are effective in protecting their wearer against Taze. But not against Pepper Spray. Mm-hmm. I think I already know that. Oh no, that's to, that's to lock it. Let's not relock it. There's a pres rack there. So he is coming up here. Hmm. See if we can pickpocket him. Can I see his routes? Alright, yeah, we can easily pickpocket him. No problem. For. Super Time Force Ultra is an indie tour the force packed with the following essential ingredients. Yes, yes, yes. Red. I've never played it. I've kind of lost patience with those. I don't know. They're, it's really strange that it includes those those weird descriptions. They're kind of like mixed between Easter eggs and not Easter eggs. They're like half Easter eggs. They're kind of Easter eggs. They're very strange. But I am curious enough to want to pickpocket the guards just to see what games are mentioned, but not necessarily enough to actually listen to the awkwardly written descriptions. Good idea. My battery was getting low. Spray. Two pepper sprays. Nice. Welcome to my domain. Care to purchase new abilities? Ah, new stuff. Does that make your communications? Hmm. So what is that really good for? Delay. Okay, so it makes them stay in one place longer because they tried to fix their comms. Gotcha. Actually sounds good. Maybe you'll present locations on the map. Oh wait, that's one I didn't buy, I think because it didn't sound all that useful. Because you don't need that, I mean you could just visually tell where they are. So it's kind of a luxury. Let's go with delay. Come back anytime. That voice is so damn creepy. Uh um I don't think the camera's meant to go that far. Alright, so he's gonna come up here and go all the way around. So I can just sneak up behind him. But after I sneak behind him, the question is, what am I gonna do down here? <laughs> it looks like I can hide behind the water cooler. Remember to silence a body scanner before sending the girl through. A simple way to avoid seeing the inside of a confinement cell. 
could silence it, or I could simply avoid actually walking through it in the first place. Although, in this case, I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, I don't think there's a way around. Where am I going exactly, by the way? I guess I just have to keep going, because these people aren't going to have the key card, right? I mean, I already pickpocketed the one, and he didn't have it. Okay, well, I can hide down here for a second, at least before this guard comes back. And I could always delay him. So that's not too big of a deal. I'm not sure about this guy, though. That's to distract him. There's a book there. Obviously, I don't need it, but... Wouldn't hurt. What about this? What does that do? What? It takes power. What, what am I hacking? I guess that's turning off the security system on that side. I think so. Okay, well that's easy enough. He's coming back, actually. Hold on. What's your patrol route? Goes straight through there. Alright, so he just goes around. Okay, we're safe. Him. Let's see what he's carrying. I got something. Alright, let's turn this one off. Hope he doesn't notice. He didn't. He's just gonna keep going around. That's fine. I can pick up the book and continue on up here. Obviously not through the level 5 door, because I can't get through that. Easy. Hmm. I'll hold on to this. How far do you come down here? I need to wait for him to turn around. Yeah, there's nothing I can do right now. I just have to wait. I know he doesn't come too far. I just need him to look the other way before I go up the stairs. They're so dumb. They don't even notice that the power just gets turned off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on one second. Okay, go. You know, I'm afraid he might turn and sear up here. No, no, no. This is high enough that she'll hide behind it. Yeah, this will be fine. I was going to delay him, but no, there's no need. Okay, vent. Time to vent a little. seeing this place in like screenshots to show off how the the new improved PC version looks this must be terminus it seems almost alive this must be what the headmaster is protecting us from whatever it is Yeah, what exactly is it? It's big, no doubt about that. Some sort of secret weapon? Power source? Something? It certainly seems to be some sort of technology far beyond any... normal kind. It seems like sci-fi. I mean, so far, so far all the technology we've seen in the game has been stuff that's 
plausible or maybe slightly extended from what we have nowadays. Like, they obviously have highly advanced 3D printing, which, you know, isn't really that far advanced from what we have already. We already have 3D printing and it works, it's just not extremely advanced. You can't just print any item you want, but, you know, that's a plausible extension, but this is something completely different. Seems like there's nobody down here. Which is weird, you think such a seemingly extremely important place would be filled with guards. Wait, what does that require? Key card. Okay. Also a key card. So it looks like there's only one way I can go. The old newspaper was too truthy. No more toothless headlines about board meetings and strategy seminars. Find me something that won't put our readers to sleep. Go on, get out there! A good story doesn't just waltz through the office door and into the headlines. Now, I have a tough obit to write tonight, so if you'll excuse me... I'm going to crawl inside a bottle for a few hours. Probably nothing terribly interesting here. Uh, preparations for the arrival. Monitoring keeps us safe. The overseer muses, blah blah blah. Cameras, oversight. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Here's the, the overseer's talking about. The snake in the grass who bit the heels of our dear precals is dead. Talking about Zager. Yep. <laughs> By deciphering his doctored manifesto text, that is, Zager's, they hope to discover the root of the mental disorder which leads people to commit acts of terror. Yeah. Someone has a mental disorder, and it's not Zager. Or wasn't Zager, if he is indeed dead, which that itself might be a lie printed by the paper simply to bolster support for them. Make people be more confident about them. Certain Prizrak in this area of the facility arm themselves with gas grenades. The effect will knock its targets unconscious. Sweet dreams. 
It might be three in the morning, but I don't feel like sleeping. Good idea. My battery was getting low. Yeah, nothing new here. Leaving so soon. Wouldn't have enough money to buy it anyway, even if I could find something new. Consider this a friendly merger and not a hostile takeover. <laughs> Confinement rooms everywhere. Okay. Alright, so I came from there. So, two ways to go? Or one way? Yeah, two ways. Here and back here. Let's go check up. Whoops. Let's go check up back here. That's a distraction. Pickpocket, the, pickpocket this car in just a second. I'm assuming he's gonna keep going this way. Kind of a square rotation pattern. Yes, yes, yes. Going in to pick his pockets. Hold on for a second. Let me get a different camera angle. Wait, what? That's not the one I wanted. This one should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Mm, is that guy going to see me? Nope. He might be about to turn around, though. Hold on, let me see where he's going. Oh, shit, he's turning around. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we need to move back. The camera angle keeps switching, that's really annoying. Just stay here, okay? Alright. Now what did I pick up? Did I get a new one? Skulls of the Shogun is a turn-based strategy game. Ah, Star yes. Have not played it either. When game designers sit down and think about what sort of game they should design for mobile, I bet many dream of something similar to 10 million. A bite-sized dungeon crawler with RPG mechanics and an addictive 3 minute gameplay loop. Credit goes to designer Luca Redwood for actually realizing his vision and building the quintessential mobile dungeon crawler. Most of us just stop at the dreaming part. I've actually never even heard of that game. He said it was mobile, so maybe it's mobile only, and that's why I've never heard of it. There are challenges that improve ability, and those that merely prove a person inadequate for the task at hand. By leagues, 
Ulysses fits the latter category so well, it damn near creates it. It's nonsense, without order. Joyce leaves postmodernism unmuzzled, worse than doggerel. To what end should we let our citizens waste the state's energy on this prattle? They squander their imagination decoding nonsense while their work ethic grows brittle and raw. If you find a cassette player, Okay, there's gonna be a lot of, like, books and little things hidden around these cubicles. There's gotta be. Now they can't just crawl through here, right? Yep. Excellent. Sega bomb. Terrorists almost certainly planted explosives inside Metamorphosis. That's a bloody good headline. Too bad we'll never use it. If you tell someone there's a monster under their bed, they'll check for it every night before they fall asleep. But if you tell someone there's a bomb in their wall, they'll rip the whole house apart looking for it. We're not in the business of printing the truth. We're in the business of suppressing a national panic attack. Take these printed copies up to the librarian. Let him line the bottom of his birdcage with them. <laughs> the truth is only fit for bird shit. How appropriate. Stop changing the camera! That is driving me nuts. Like, I chose the camera that I'm looking through because I want to look through it. Don't change it for me. Please. Okay, she's turning into a caricature of a bad person. <laughs> Screaming at people about the newspaper having to look pretty and having no substance. She's basically screaming, I am a very bad person and my newspaper is crap. Carlson, I have misplaced my recorded interview with the headmaster. If you would, write something up. Direct quotes are fine, just make him sound smarter than me. Just making stuff up out of whole cloth. Nice. Don't you dare change the camera. <laughs> There's just a random pile of boxes in the way, just to prevent me from going there. Tricky bastards. Of course, there's a book over here. And a thing. Where's the third guard? I see two. But there's three. Is he hiding back here? Oh no, he's hiding over there. Hmm, looks like I can search the jackets maybe for a key card. Two ways to go as well. Alright, well I'm safe here. 
What's your patrol pattern? Hmm, I actually don't need to do that. Yeah, they both come there and then they just kind of like walk away. Uh, he's looking. I don't want to come out here until this guy turns around. Alright. He's right there. Oh god. I think I'm okay. Hold on. Can I distract him? Okay, let me see if I can just distract him. Maybe he'll... <laughs> his radio will malfunction he'll, so he'll forget. There we go. See, I don't know if he's going to deal with that and then come looking for me or what, because I can't move her. He's still looking in this direction. Let me get my pepper spray ready, just in case. Or maybe taser. Yeah, I guess I'll go with the taser, because these guys do not have armor. Or this guy does not have armor, rather. Is he gonna come anyway? Okay, he forgot. Excellent. Gonna pickpocket him when he starts going back the other way. Which means I should probably switch back to pickpocketing so I don't accidentally taser him. That has happened before. Now, I saw an email over here somewhere. Where was that? Ah, here we go. Dear Mr. Clark, It isn't that I find the office of the fact checker to be useless. It's just that we have a superior fact checking resource in these ubiquitous security cameras. Regrets to your superfluous position. Notify me if you'd still like that job with the Prisrac. Sincerely, Maddie Said. You know, what I'm wondering is, if they have so many damn cameras, which they obviously do because I'm currently using them, and they're looking for me, why don't they just use the cameras to find me? Unless the fact that I'm using them right now means I've hacked the system and barred them from actually using their own cameras. I don't get it. Okay, um... Where did I actually come from? Yeah, so if I keep going that way, I'm actually going to be going back where I came from, so I'm actually already on the right side. Well, pretty much. So, let's go inside of here. In just a second, once this dude's turned around and gone back. Then again, this guy might be looking right... Yeah, he's looking this way. Hmm. I think it'll be okay. I hope it'll be okay. I think he's gonna turn around soon enough. Turn around, turn around, turn around... Yes. Okay. Apparently, 
Sega's death video has disappeared. This coming from my source in the Prisrac. More likely, they just didn't care for the ending, so they're doing reshoots. As you know, in this day and age, nothing's ever truly gone. Track down the unedited version. I would love to compare it to Hair Director's Cut. I'm still not entirely sure that he's actually dead. And do I have something to open up the vent? I think that's a no. I don't see a screwdriver. Oh yeah, I got a new one. I will let you in on a little secret. FDL. When don't need to hear about that. I already know it's an awesome game. Already played it. Really damn good. Bad government fosters juvenile delinquency. And a clockwork orange pays tribute to it. Little Alex must learn on his own not to beat his elders with a cane. But good government has no patience for individual moral improvement, particularly now that Alex can hide behind the moniker Anonymous. The last thing we need are children free to cavort without oversight. The Republic carves up anonymity to sculpt the moral soul. Heading to the vent. I don't think she can open it, but <laughs> let's see. We need a screwdriver to open this vent. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. So. An old Zager cassette. Wait, what? I didn't even see that. Good job. Let's wait for this guy to turn around first. And... Go. Screwdriver. Oh, ooh, ooh, hold on. I didn't even see the screwdriver either. Should I continue on or go back? Let's see, what's inside of here? Is this a dead end, or do we need to continue? Ooh! Potential source of a key card? Wait, wait. Shit, did someone just see me? What's going on? Why is she moving? I thought she would have been safe wherever she was. Um. Okay, he's coming. Shit. Okay, whew, just barely made it. We're good. Just to be safe, let me get on this side. You can't hide from us. Hold on, she needs to move a little bit more just to avoid the other guy. There we go, this guy shouldn't be able to see her. Okay, well, if she automatically moves, maybe he will. Anyway, what I was doing before, is this a dead end or not? Okay, it's a dead end, so we can check this out. She doesn't wake up from her nap. Oh, that is Matty Sade right there. There it is. The key card. Leaving so soon? You'll need more than that to get out of here. It's all right. They won't come in here. Apparently they're afraid of me. Oh, what I'll write about them. And she's drunk. Would you like a drink? Or would it corrupt your coding? You're a 
a long way from home. I don't have a home. Do you have a soul? The Greek owls have souls. I used to. Until one night, I went to bed with the devil. I woke up regretting it. But I did it again the next night, and the night after that, and every morning I'd look at what I'd written and issue an apology. But that wore me out. Sincerity is exhausting. So I started faking it. As a woman, you learn to fake an apology. As a woman journalist, that's all you end up doing. So what's your story? I'm escaping. Mm. Good luck with that. Do I have a chance? Stupider people than you have gotten further in life with less help. You do have help, right? No. I see. Well, I thought I heard you talking to someone earlier. So what's your plan for getting to the surface? Because there's a pair of armoured Prizrak upstairs who like their jobs too much to let some empty-headed twit with a stolen mobile get the better of them. No offence. None taken. Well, I know a way to remove them. No blood, no violence. You won't have to get your hands dirty. You know what a news office calls their archives? They call it the morgue, the place where old news goes to die. But sometimes we'll bring a story back to life. Sometimes we'll raise the dead. Are you willing to summon a ghost or two? Yes. Then let's see which poor souls we're dealing with tonight. Edwin Chung and David Bowen. There are two data hubs on either side of Terminus, Atlantic and Pacific. Getting to them won't be easy, but you'll manage. Go, now. I don't understand. What do we do when we get to them? We? Me. Right. Find the Pacific and Atlantic servers. I'll call you when you get there. Okay, that was strange. <laughs> that was very, very strange. I think her character exists solely to be a caricature of a bad newspaper person and to deliver exposition and give me a quest. Very awkward. Well then. It would seem Miss Sade is stewing in a broth of remorse and hard alcohol tonight. However, she does have a solid plan for dispatching those two Prizrak at the service elevator. I'd advise you and the girl to follow Maddie's lead on this. Drive safely. Yes, it was a suspiciously well formulated plan. Last word of it. This isn't how I thought I'd spend the eve of the arrival. Oh, Senor Octavo. I am so sorry. I must come to terms with the fact that I'm at least partially responsible for your death. And now I sit here, adding insult to injury. Writing more lies on the wall of your coffin. I'm done. I've ruined enough lives. I refuse to taint their afterlives too. Hi, 
You've reached Matty Sade at the morning bell. Please leave a message. Hello? Your stupid machine is on. No, no, I'm stopping it. Hold on. There we go. Murray, how are you, darling? You lord, some Ah, not well, I guess. I just spent the last hour getting slapped down by the headmaster because you thought it would be cute to create some pointless controversy around my drinking habits. You stupid, phony, phony! Well, if that isn't richer than the royal family, you're the phony, me, Ray. You with your bogus name and manufactured accent. I am curious. How exactly did you manage to cultivate such a lovely and exotic French patois growing up in Blacksburg, Virginia? Hmm? Miss Prido? Should I call you Miss Said. If you want me to drop the issue, then you'd better drop the act. Ask me why I haven't shared that with the headmaster. What's the matter, darling? Cat got your tongue. Another word about this and I swear to God I will end. <laughs> there goes the accent. Have I made a compelling argument for metamorphosis? You've been most illuminating. And you've been a delight. Thank you for entertaining this nostalgic old fool for an evening, Miss Say. Please, call me Matty. And the only fool I see is the shaky-handed barman over there who went stingy on my gin. Time for one more. I think another time. After this flight, I have two more, and then another lengthy voyage beyond that. I trust we'll meet again. Perchance in metamorphosis. Good evening. Wait, you forgot this, this pendant thingy. You keep it. These pendants, haven't I seen them in so many different places? He just keeps leaving them accidentally accidentally on purpose there's something about these why is he leaving them everywhere what are they are they simply communication devices like maybe they just have hidden microphones in them or something is that how i'm hearing the actual audio itself i never actually thought about where the audio that i'm hearing was coming from i mean i just kind of assumed it was a, uh, you know a, i'm not sure what the right word would be a I really don't know what the word would be. You know, just kind of an exaggeration, uh, an elaboration on what happened. Stuff that doesn't actually exist in the real world, but it's just played for my benefit. But now I'm thinking that I'm actually hearing them because these rec they're actually recording devices. Is that true? Now I'm thinking back to everything I've clicked on that has audio. Let's see. Like, what about this thing? What is this? Will this have an audio recording? Harold. Are you sending me secret messages? Dear Miss Sade, let's not pretend the countdown to this day didn't begin the moment we hired you. As a seasoned newsman, I am disgusted to claim you as a colleague. You lack even a modicum of basic journalistic integrity and... and your investigative methods are grotesque and unethical. Ah. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. I have ignored your poorly researched writing for too long. But your article about Treglazov was a new low, even for you. That would... That you would bend truth so plainly in order to defend a man such as him and to do so without even the slightest regard for the reputation of this August newspaper is beyond the pale. Consider this letter your formal termination. Was that the old newspaper? 
If I'm hearing that correctly, it sounds like she worked for the old newspaper and got fired. Which means perhaps that's why she slept with a devil, aka the headmaster, I believe, to actually form the new newspaper and be on top, take over the old newspaper and she runs the new one. That sounds right. Certainly sounds plausible. And yeah, I, I think all the things I'm clicking on actually just have bugs inside of them. Recording devices. I mean, it makes sense. There's video recording devices everywhere. Why wouldn't there be audio bugs? Not available, not available, not available. And yes, she seemed very, very tall. 175 centimeters. Hold on. I'm going to go to Google with that. 100 and... 75 centimeters to feet. Really? 175 centimeters is only 5.7 feet. She's not even 6 feet tall. But she seems so much taller than Hope. Which means either... I, I, I guess that means Hope is just really, really small. Actually, I, I think I can actually look. Is it data? No. I can look at her own... Here we go. 160 centimeters. That can't be right. No, there's something off about the model scaling. It says they're within about, like, 10-15 centimeters of each other, but... But Maddie looked way taller. Anyway. That was unexpected. <laughs> yeah. Can we trust her? Nope. I'd like to think so. After all, she let me keep the key card. Or maybe she just forgot I had it. You can trust her insofar as she needs you. She is a means to an end. Or rather, you are a means to an end to her. Okay, vent. The screwdriver snapped in half. A Zager room. Ugh. It really smells in here. I'm surprised the morning bell staff never noticed. Ew, what does it smell like, and why would it smell? Oh, they even censored the... the. I, I was gonna say porn, but that's not actually porn. You can... I think she's just wearing a bathing suit. And they even censored that. Wow. Very strict sensor filters on these cameras. Alright, well, before I continue, I think I'll end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I will listen to the tape that I got, assuming there's a tape player in here, which I think... Yeah, there... Wait, is that a tape player? Yeah, that is. So, listen to the tape that I got. Check out what's in this room. See what's making it smell so bad. Which is probably all this weird... Oh, it's fertilizer. That's probably what's making it smell. And go out and complete Sadie's quests. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.